Hi Capricorn, I'm Sha from Charlie's Angel Tarot and welcome back if you're a faithful follower and uh, if you're a new follower then please subscribe and hit the bell. If you don't want to be notified don't hit the bell um, but please subscribe and it will be saved in your library then you can find this channel back much easier. Below the video in the description box you will find more information and just right there in the corner here you will find a white circle with an eye and if you click on that it will take you to the website and this is your romance reading for March. Although it is a couple of days late, to be precise about 12 days too late, I know but there's been a lot of new things happening. And you've already seen some results of that in uh, on the channel, like uh, collaboration and uh, with other uh, creators, and also uh, interviewing a witch. We are reviewing the witch's oracle deck, and we'll be going into real life discussions like uh, what is alternative medicine, what is an alternative life, what does herbs mean. Uh, how many different uh, med um, medical people use uh, alternative medicine, homeopathy, uh, in, of course, meaning that, or massage, or uh, uh, Reiki, or anything like that. Uh, the witch is also a therapist, and uh, we'll go into that because it will be a weekly vlog. Um, Monday and Friday nights are English nights for the live sessions and Wednesday is just the pure Dutch night. Uh, I'll be talking Dutch there and that is how it's going to be because it's getting really um, busy and I've, I haven't even had time to update my video. There will be more reviews coming in so it's all exciting. Okay Capricorn, this is your card. Get get to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other you your bond will deepen of course because that is how you get to know each other and try um, with this card i also um, get the feeling to get to know each other try to be with each other uh, alone as much as possible try to get away from third parties it could be children it could be children, you might have a child from another relationship or marriage, um, but give this relationship definitely a chance to get to know each other, to be able to talk freely without other people around you. Now for the card underneath the getting to know uh, each other is the ancestor card. Now, the ancestor, look at all the generations stacked up. And this is a deck I've done a review on, and that's the um, uh, the House of Shadows, I think. The, uh, yes, the House of Shadows. I'll be getting the uh, tarot deck uh, shortly. And it's a lovely deck. It's from Monica Dordwinski. And the... Um, Legacy means ancestors, means legacy, leaving something behind. Remember that all your ancestors are part of you or you are part of them. You've been, your character, your soul is also developed by your background, what they have left and they've passed on to you. Perhaps you would like to do the same for your children if you have children. Um, and that is part of our lives. We would like to build something up together with somebody and perhaps they have a legacy as well and you could discuss that to get to know each other. Where did you come from? What, were, what are your hobbies? What do you love? And that is how you get to know each other and that's how you build a legacy, a partnership, something that can grow and that could be your, bound, um, yeah, your foundations. Now, it is time to consider what you are leaving behind as evidence that you've walked this earth. That could be a stable relationship, be an example for your children, if you have children, or your sister's or brother's children. Um, we've got a saying in Holland, if you are the example, the example will be followed. 
That's literally translated. It doesn't rhyme. In Dutch it does. It is your relationships or a book that you want to be uh, leave behind or your artwork or your understanding of artwork when you take your, your, your partner or potential partner um, to a museum or to somewhere fun that, that, that they make art or something to do together and assist others, then you are leaving a legacy. You're leaving uh, positivity behind. That is also a legacy. Know that people, knowing that people have seen you uh, being a lovely person. So look inward and to your surrounding surroundings to get the right balance of what your legacy could be. And don't give up. I know life goes up and down, especially in relationships. But use your ancestors, use the knowledge, use the patience, use the beautiful character that you have. Because we are a third uh, part of what our ancestors have given. We are a th third uh, of our own character and we're a third of our environment. That is what makes us. So, if you would like to make leave a legacy behind, then you know that that is the start, starting point. You've got it and you can make it work. So learn to communicate and share things. That is also leaving a legacy behind. Then we go on to the second card and that was the second week. Express your love. Go ahead and make, go ahead and make the romantic gesture. This is what have, could have happened this week. And um, so if you fancy somebody and you're not hooked up, then make that gesture. Let's go and have a cup of coffee. Let's go to the museum. Let's go to the cinema. There's an unexpected change. If you hooked up, this could be that you are changing, you're growing, you're getting to know each other. And there might be an unexpected change. You might go up a level because the tower is too, uh, high. It also needs a mature man. You might have met a mature man and um, that was unexpected. You thought you might not have been able to be compatible, but he's understanding you and he's understanding your gesture of getting to know each other and that you have special feelings and that you're trying to build up a legacy to get to know each other and leave something behind. You are ambitious. The tower in Lenman means ambition. Um, and not to forget other people uh, around you. Because when you reach the top, the top of your relationship, and you've forgotten the people around you, it's very lonely. Especially when a relationship stops, or all of a sudden a friendship stops, then you've got nobody when you've reached the top. We all reach the top. We always have a summit and we've also got valleys, ups and downs. So make sure that when you are getting involved with somebody and you are building a legacy, that you don't forget the people uh, around you and that support you, that love you. Your nearest and dearest, that could be brothers, sisters, aunts, uncles, mothers, fathers. So make that gesture and build your legacy. And whilst you're at it, introduce your partner to your family. I know in some situations it is difficult and you don't dare to share, but they will understand. Don't worry, <coughs> there will be ups and downs. But once you share and you, you pull those in that are also dear to you, your blood relations and your friends, then the rest will grow. Not only that, but I also keep the tower uh, of the tarot in my mind as it has a different meaning to the letter mom. It means that unexpected changes. You couldn't make a decision and that's why the divine and the angel stepped in to give you this unexpected change. And when one door closes, 20 will open. But you have to take action to step through those doors. You've got to make the choices. So be warned that something might uh, unexpectedly might change, okay? 
in the third week, let go of control issues. Perhaps that's your legacy, that you want to let go of control issues, but you want to trust somebody more and more and build up this relationship so it will be a secure relationship. You've got the star. The star means you have got your goal. You've got your wish. So let go of control issues and let allow this situation to develop naturally. Build up that character uh, or the relationship, I mean, <clears throat> so that your wish can come true. Then at the end of the month, the fourth week, you have retreat. It is time to disconnect from the world. You are grow growing stronger together. Look at this beautiful storyline. It doesn't have to be a story. It can be a reality because you're going to get a gift. You've got the bouquet and the bouquet means an end of a situation, perhaps an ending to being alone. A new beginning you're getting a gift this doesn't have to be a ring it could also be a bunch of flowers it could be an other kind of gift he's giving or she's giving her heart or his heart to you you've got the relationship that you want and he's taking you on a retreat to get really connected and i said that at the beginning take quality time out together then you've got the archangel michael card withdrawal wow withdraw no longer fun walk away archangel michael asks you to detach from the drama associated with particular with a particular situation the time has come to withdraw and walk away if it doesn't work for you walk away you know that everybody knows that but i think um, in this respect if people are mingling and minding your business uh, then walk away from that drama. You don't want any drama. Build up if you do take uh, your partner home to introduce, like you're not, you're, you are including your nearest and dearest, and they're making a drama, or because they think that he or she is not your, your type or is not good for you, listen to your instinctive feelings. Make sure you take out time together to get to know each other. Whether you've been in a relationship long term or just starting, get to know each other so that you know where uh, the negative side is and where the positive side. And try to discuss the negative side so that you can make it positive. That is, that is growing together. If you've got a question, um, what, what do I have to do? Take a practical approach that is required. You've got the brown angel feather. And the brown angel feather means earth yourself, earth this relationship. The angels advise you to focus on practicalities at this moment, one step at a time. Like I said, you can't run before you walk. You have to take step by step, building up the level. Even if you've been together, married or otherwise for a long time if you want to stay together you have to find uh, answers and it takes a practical approach like if you've been very long together and um, it is getting stagnated the relationship then take time out talk about things that you loved talk about things that you did together and what you how you can continue together Communication is of essence here. That is what the title of this video will be. Communication is of essence. You have to know what you like and what they like. Know your boundaries. Okay. Well, Capricorn, I got a little bit nosy and I can't give you an angel because uh, brown isn't a chakra color. But I do know this, that brown... Uh, people, when they get stressed, they have to earth themselves. It's the red chakra. So um, you should try to go out into the garden like this picture. Go out into nature. Walk if you can. If you're in a, in a place where there is warm weather, then let your um, toes and feet feel the sand. Earth yourself. And um, 
although um, the earthing chakra is Uriel, ask Uriel for your for help if you need help to earth yourself. Meditate, and this card, for instance, means retreat. If you uh, are in a situation in a relationship from time to time, you do need your own quiet moments so that you can contemplate, meditate, think about things and evaluate so that you can take the next step. And I got nosy, so I looked at the bottom of the card and what did I tell you? You've got the snake here. So be careful of slithery people. And you can see a girl there sitting on a bench reading a book. Um, to me, that means trying to get more information to try to poke and provoke. Um, that's the words that I'm getting in. So when uh, somebody, the tower is something unexpected. This could be that somebody could come out of somewhere, uh, out of the woodwork and uh, not accept your partner or your new partner. And there could be niggly bits because the tower does mean niggly bits, you know. Um, there could be somebody, I've got a feeling that somebody could be jealous of the chemistry that you have. Look at this. And you've got the card chemistry. Chemistry. That's a strong magnetic attraction here. That's what you have. Perhaps that's what you had if you've got a, a long-standing relationship. So try to get the chemistry back. Not only talking and not it's a relationship is not only built on chemistry. I haven't got enough room to show you the cards. So, you know, um, a relationship is not built on this, only on the physical, but also on the uh, mental. And that's also a form of chemistry. So make sure you get, get time to be with your partner, to talk about things. And here again, withdraw. And that uh, resonates with this card. Be careful of the snake in the grass. They can, like I said, they can come out of the woodwork. The snake just appears. Boom! There he is. They're very quiet. They're very slithery. And they're very sly. So, take time out for you and your partner and for your loved one. Build up that relationship or maintain that relationship. Like I said, communication is of essence. Walk away from drama and negative people. I hope you have liked this video and please join us uh, on Monday and Friday night and share with friends and family and give us the thumbs up. I hope you've enjoyed this reading. Take care. Have a brilliant month ahead. What's left of it? And I'm sorry I was late. Take care. Be blessed. Love, Sadaman.